Hey guys, it is Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. What? Today we are in, guess where? We're in, Lew we're in Lewisburg Antiques. That's right, one of my most favorite places to shop. The last time we were here, they had just, some of the vendors had just started putting out their Halloween. And we are now in the month of October, safely in the month of October. So it is time, people. Don't be slacking out there if you got a booth. I want to see it like come September 1st. We're going to get in here and see if we can't find anything for resale. And uh, hopefully we find some great Halloween stuff. Here's hoping. Real quick, people do have a tendency to look at you when you're like filming yourself and talking into your camera and like whizzing the camera around and being all extra and everything. They really look at you. <laughs> Okay, guys, here we are. Right off the bat, we are seeing Halloween. It does my heart good. Now, I do see these honeycomb Halloween, I'm going to call them pom-poms, Halloween honeycomb balls. I don't know. I feel wrong saying that. <laughs> um, they're cute. I kind of debated getting them, honestly, because I think it's a quick way to kind of spruce up the house for Halloween or fall. Just hang them by a chandelier. Now, I do see this pig planter slash bank they have it listed as a planter bank and i'm like i am confused with it also because there's no hole <laughs> the bot i'm like why is that black thing there maybe one of you out there can tell me I, I i don't get it i would say it's a planter so i did leave it behind up next i did see these vintage Halloween costumes. These were actually more in like adult sizing. So that was really interesting. I was kind of tempted by the skeleton. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, would Michael have worn it? Uh, you bet. If you don't know me, now you do. Um, I think these are great though for display pieces. You could simply put them on a hanger and hang them on a door. It's that easy to kind of dress it up for Halloween or just put a little tack, put a little tack up, hang it, put a mask on, boom instant halloween decor and speaking of instant halloween decor how adorable is this die cut he is articulated um you can see the little brads there for his joints he is um mm -hmm. he was doing something out there in the field and i don't think it was protecting the field no hey lady out there how you doing <laughs> We are at one of my most favorite vendors, um, and I do spot this beautiful piece of Venetian glass, not Murano. Um, I love it. It is obviously in like an Amberina style glass. I think it is perfect for fall decor. Uh, at $12, I did decide to go ahead and pick this up. She's got a really nice smooth bottom there, folks. Um, I love it. I think she's pretty. I love the color play. Stick it in the window. Boom. Woo. Where are you going, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> trash tastic folks we haven't spotted a piece that has been well deserving of the title trash tastic in quite a while um so i'm glad we do see this it is a kind of a nightlight um with the colored coral there obviously the shells the crushed shells all put together talk about tacky um now i do spot this little like kids it is metal it's like a little cart um interestingly enough i know misty from thrifter junker vintage hunter just recently acquired one and she's got like a lot of her stuffed bears in there this one's 47.50 so i did not get it um and i wanted it badly because i wanted to do the exact same thing i wanted to stuff all my like little rushed rushtons in there i think that would have been adorable but Alas, it was a little too pricey for me to want to get for my needs. Now, here we have some Pyrex. Um, and you know what? This is in the Harvest Gold or Butterfly Gold. I call it Butterfly. Oh, I think Corel is Butterfly Gold. And Pyrex is Harvest. I don't know. Now, I do see these little drinking glasses with the blue flower on them. They immediately remind me of my grandmother. She had a collection of those, as well as the taller juice glasses with the white daisy. And then up top, look at that bad boy. It was huge. It had to be at least four and a half feet tall. And I was really trying to get the size of it. I was tempted to want to get it down. Um, and then I was like, I thought better of it. And I was like, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> here we have a really interesting art nouveau style 
sculpture vase. I absolutely loved it. And I'm not going to lie to you. I, um, I was like, isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. The sculpt, it's unique. It's organic. I love it. I love the, the detail here on the bottom. I was scared to look at the price. It was affordable at 47.43, 47. And then I picked it up and I was like, oh, it's resin. It's not glass. <laughs> I don't want it. Throw it back, Michael. Throw it back. But it is still a beautiful sculpt. Now, this same vendor did have the Bosom um, chalkware. These are highly detailed, and I mean right down to the wrinkles and the pores in the skin. Um, and I always love seeing these. So I did decide to go ahead and film them. Unfortunately, the gladiator dragon warrior there, um, his little crest was missing a wing. So I did leave him behind. I was tempted on that one because I thought he was so unique and weird and unusual. Oh, beautiful weather pottery. Huh, you're too pricey for me. I love that glaze. It is very similar to the um, why can't I? Van Briggle. And if I'm remembering correctly, um, it is in the Ming glaze. I don't know that Weller called that particular shade of, of blue or turquoise, if you will, um, Ming, but Van Briggle did. So I'm going to call it Ming. Look, there it is. There's that vase. Now, I have really tried to broaden my horizons. I know that I have filmed jewelry in the past, um, and I have successfully sold a couple of pieces of jewelry. So I am really trying to take my time and look at the jewelry now. What I am doing is pointing out that white magnolia. I do see some of the enamel flowers. So I did end up picking up those two there in the front. And there is a large, like, pinkish, corally, fleshy color flower there. I did pick that one up. I did, in fact, pick up the uh, white magnolia. Look at this blow mold. Talk about being large and in charge. I love it. The black cat there chilling on the pumpkin. The pumpkin's like, hey, cat, what's going on? Cat's like, mm, nothing much today. <laughs> I was really excited to see this vendor had a sale. It is 20% off anything over 50. It is cash or check that would get you um, the discount. And I believe it was like 15% um, if you paid with a card. Uh, this was priced at 150, which is very reasonable, especially with the discount. I always love filming this vendor's booth. They have probably one of the most impressive displays. Look at the dining room set, that table, the hutch there. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's a lot, I know. But it's definitely very specific in regards to taste, but it's still worth appreciating. I love it. They have the mid-century. Look, there's King B. I mean, why not? He's either got swizzle sticks or flowers and, and a drink in his hand. He's, it's not a drink. It's a drink. Okay. Just to be clear. Very feminine. Um, and I love it. Oh, geez. <laughs> now I have spotted this piece before. The vendor does have it labeled as Royal Copley. It is a pot hanger. Um, so you obviously would hang him on the side of your pot and it looked like he was climbing up. It was priced at $14. However, I thought it was a very unique piece. So I did decide to go ahead and pick him up. Um, those red beady eyes. Lordy. What kind of plant are you crawling on, monkey? I don't know. Mm, I'm wondering. Now here we do see some pretty art glass. I love this owl. It's kind of in like an amber smoke. I don't know if I would fully call it. Well, you know what, Michael, on further reflection, I am going to go ahead and call it in a smoke glass. Now you do see this beautiful, look at that, this teal opalescent vase. Unfortunately, it was priced at $40. It was a little too rich for my blood. Do I think that there was some dollars left for resale? I do. I just didn't know how much and I didn't, I wasn't in the mood for taking risk today. That is why I left that piece behind. So we're checking it all out. And I love filming in here because there's just so much. There's all the little nooks and crannies, so much to see. It is a little intimidating, I'm not going to lie, while you are filming, trying to get through here because the last thing that you want to do is knock anything over because it would just have like a domino effect, I have a feeling. 
look at this. This isn't, I'm not going to call this one trash-tastic. It is tacky, but not trash-tastic. <laughs> Shell art. Now, I do see this Cypress Knee Lamp. It is priced at $65, you guys. Uh, the original shade, the Cypress Finial was still on top. There is some glass behind it, yes. Um... Uh, it actually, the reason that I wanted this, this was very popular mid-century. Um, the reason that I was debating about getting this is because I really do see the value on these increasing. It is actually illegal now to cut down cypress knees um, because they are the roots to the cypress trees in the swamps and it does create deforestation um, in the swamps and it, it, it's just a horrible mess. Um, obviously, this these were harvested during a time when that was not illegal, so... I don't know. I've seen that again. I really regret it. My problem is, is like, I'm like, I, I have enough lamps that I've lost count. <laughs> uh, but that one was really cool. I don't know. I might have to go back and get it if it's still there. Oh, here we have some Ellie Smith. You know what? I was going to get this and I forgot to go back and get it. So I'm a little perturbed at myself. Um, obviously in the amethyst, not amethyst, but a purple glass. Um, I typically call amethyst glass that very dark, like extraordinarily dense glass where it looks black. So this one I'm just going to call purple. It obviously is a small covered candy dish. It was only $20, and I definitely thought there was some good room on that for resale. Again, we have another sale at 20% off, anything $50 or over. The thing that caught my eye immediately was the Empoli Duck bottle. Um, sadly, he was priced, even with the sale, a little above what, what I felt comfortable buying for resale, um, simply because it's it. he's a little pricier, and I'm unsure because it's so specific the figural piece of it, if it was a different animal, say they had made like a deer, I probably would have picked it up even at that price. But the duck is, I just don't know how popular ducks are right now, you know, <laughs> gorgeous beveled jewelry box there. I really am on the hunt. I would love to find one where it ha oh, like five sides would have the beveled glass in it. I think they're very elegant, high end. Now, look, if you're not into the controversy of it all, turn away. Um, here we have like a little flat, a very saucy books. I mean, anything goes. Yes, it does. The Beach House. Seductive. Celeste, the Gold Coast Virgin. <laughs> Just Wow. Hotel Mistress. What? I mean, these ones were the immoral woman. Oh, could you imagine? I'm telling. These are like <laughs> these are these are not just saucy. They're a bit smutty. I mean, let's just. I'm not even saying that out loud. You can read it. <laughs> the foolish. Uh, I'm not the Golden Road. Mm -hmm. Sketchy, Lordy. I'm like, uh, do I need to sanitize my hands after this? I probably should have. I figured they were old enough at this point. It is what it is. But I did sanitize my hand when I went outside. Yes, I did. Um, a good deal for all of those books. And then, bleh! <laughs> I used to have one of these as a kid. And if you don't know, a lot of these very disposable kind of quarter, or this, I believe, was like a 50 cent machine. So you were highfalutin if you got one of these. Um, you know, at $10 if I, I could sell this on eBay and still make money. Um, I did find the Willow soundtrack. If you don't remember it, you're missing out on life. I vividly remember it. Well, guys, that is it. And I will catch you outside where I get attacked by bees. Well, there we have it. Lewisburg. Antiques. Lewisburg. Pennsylvania. Well. Um, just attacked by a bee. Apparently it's a thing now going forward. Great. Uh. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, that was our shopping trip. Did we find a whole lot? No, but I am really excited about that Royal Copley monkey planter hanger. 
because of course who doesn't need that in their life i'm telling you and that gorgeous murano amber glass no it wasn't murano it was a venetian it was a venetian get yourself together learn your words michael so guys as always until next time remember keep it rusty crusty and dusty bye guys